Hello guys, Gladiator Bricks here. Now I'm doing a review on the Mandalorian Battle Pack, set number 75267. About 102 pieces, retails for about 14 bucks. Yep. Now one thing I do notice, there is a con there's like a thing that people like to do comparing this to the other Mandalorian Battle Pack for um from the Clone Wars series. Now for those of you who don't know about it, go ahead and look it up. Like pause this video, look it up, and take a look at the set. Now I will point out details that, that were not in it originally, like this side piece and some other detail. And I'll tell you something, it's a little different from what they built years ago, but it's still kind of the same as that set. But I do like this build because it gives me like a hover bike. And I did keep the Mandalorian himself in this set. I mean, in, out, because I kind of wanted to give you an idea of what the Mandalorian minifigure looks like before I get out the actual figures. Now, yeah, this is a pretty good set so far, but let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Because you've probably gotten a better look. And I'll get out the kind of wall piece. Now the idea is you put one of those stupid little launcher pieces on it. I'll tell you the truth, that's the only thing that's good for. Just sitting as part of the display. So it's kind of supposed to be like a piece of wall that the minifigure hides behind. Let's get out my original man. One of now I only have one of the original Mandalorian minifigures from Death Wa from the Death Watch Battle Pack, so I'm gonna put him there, and there you go. But the set's pretty nice. I'll leave him here so you guys got another idea for for um, to kind of compare him to the other versions. Anyway, so far let's go on to the minifigures because that's probably what you guys want to know what. Now here's one, two, three, and four. What I do have a complaint about this battle pack, they all, they just didn't make it look like they were identical. Now, what I preferred about the original battle pack was it was, I, all four Mandalorian figures were identical. And pretty much, that's one of the reasons I liked the original. I never got the original, though some of you are probably saying, but why do you have a Mandalorian figure? This figure in the back I got in a haul of, of Lego pieces, so I didn't really get the set at all. I wish I had, because I'd love to compare these two sets. But anyways, one complaint I do have about the set other than the figures all being different is this I don't like these things launchers are annoying pieces because you can't use them in a mock really and you lose those pieces right after you shoot them so easily now the set came with these things which I didn't take out of the package because it doesn't show oh wait a minute yeah, a couple of them are supposed to have antennae, antennas on it, on their helmets. Give me a second to return, to put these on them. Whoops. I kind of made a mistake while putting together the set. Uh, anyways, they come with antennae and those other things, and the armor is a little different. Let's go ahead and tip them up. They all have capes, and that's about a lot of the detail I can point out. My favorite one of all of them is the blue character, but let me know in the comments what you think of this set, if you're planning on getting it, and what your opinion on it is. Other than, than that, TIFN, ta-ta for now. 